Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics Vacation Edition collection, if you want to call it that. I've been really excited and ready to try this. I got my package and I was ready to just swatch it and play with it, but I controlled myself. I was like, Gabby, don't do it. Just wait until you film a first impressions and then you can do whatever you want to do. When I first saw Kylie swatch everything on her snapchat, I was... impressed. What caught my eye was the powder highlights. Honey, when I saw that, it had to be mine. Now before the collection launched, I looked up the price because I wasn't sure. I knew Kylie Cosmetics was expensive, but I wasn't sure what the price was going to be. I looked it up. This collection retails for $250. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like... Okay. So my package came in this little black box. It looks like this. Nothing too fancy, obviously. When you open it, which I already did open it, um, I showed you guys on snapchat what it looked like no swatches i have not swatched anything whatsoever so i'm really anxious to do that but when you open it oh my gosh it's so cute when you open it it looks like this it has her name with like the little drops in it and then all of the makeup inside now it comes with this little card that looks like this it's super cute um, it says, thank you so much for purchasing your Kylie lip kit. I hope you enjoy using it as much as I enjoy creating it. I put my heart and soul into each and every kit, and I want to thank you for joining me on my journey. XOXO Kylie. Super cute. So in the kit, um, it's the Take Me On Vacation pressed eyeshadow. Two loose powder highlights that look like this. These are it right here. It also comes with a phase duo. Velvet liquid lipsticks. Ooh, this is a big box. Pretty thick. And then it comes with matte liquid lipsticks. Also pretty thick. It comes with another matte liquid lipstick and lip liner. June Bug. I saw the color of this one. It is so freaking adorable. Um, oh, and another loose powder highlight. Fiji. Oh, I thought I was done. Okay. Um, it also, oh my god, no way. It comes with two glosses. I have been dying to try her glosses. I knew this. I knew it came with glosses. They're like really, really shimmery glosses from what I heard. <gasps> no way. Oh my god, this is so cute. Can't wait to try this. Can't wait to try this. Okay, I'm super excited. It is now 2.16. I have a dentist appointment at 3. I don't know why I'm taking my precious time. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing y'all the pressed powder eyeshadow. I looked at this already and it is so freaking adorable. This is what the package looks like. It looks just like this. And it comes with a little brush inside. And this is what the eyeshadows look like. When I opened this, the first thing that caught my eye was this blue eyeshadow right here. That's the eyeshadow palette. Then, this is the face duo. It's sunkissed and glow up. And I... I want to say it's like a little all over the face bronzer. And a pressed highlight. Then, we have... Loose powder highlights. Oh my gosh. Okay. So they come in a little container like this. It is so cute. I want to open it and see what it looks like. Oh, you can't really tell because it's covered like this. I really want to swatch it. There is Glamour and Glitz. Glamour. Glamour. You're so freaking adorable. I think that's the one I opened up first a while ago. No, it was this one. Glitz. It's so freaking gorgeous. Then we have June Buck. Oh my god, I opened this when I first got it. This color. This is the lip liner. And then the oh my god. It's 
such a pretty purple. I would I would totally wear that. Can I pull it off? I don't know, but I'm gonna wear it anyways because it's cute and I paid for it. So. These are the matte liquid lipsticks. When you open it up, it looks like this. So adorable, so cute. I love her packaging, like the drops. It's so cute. And then last but not least, we have the velvet liquid lipsticks. Looks like this. Pretty much the same thing as the matte ones, but Oh wait, no, the packaging's different too. Anyway, so the first thing I really want to swatch is the eyeshadow palette, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the palette from left to right. I'm going to start off with Palm Tree, Aloha, we have Sell Away, Island Girl, Starfish, Piña Colada, Summer 17, and last one on the top row, we have first class. Okay, on the bottom row, also from left to right, we have Surfboard, Luxury, Spray Tan, Sunset, On the Rocks, Paradise, Coconut, and last but not least, we have Sea Breeze. So this is the bottom row. So as of right now, I don't have anything on my face. The only thing that I have really is lip balm, lip repair, Aquaphor, lip repair. Shout out to Shayla for recommending this balm. I have not stopped using it since I got it. Also on my face, I have a little bit of Photo Finish Water Primer from Smashbox. I spray this on my face whenever my face is feeling a bit dry. My face is pretty oily when it comes to my mouth area and around my nose. It is dry as can be. Dry as a desert. Just dry. So I sprayed a little bit of this on it so it wouldn't be so dry. I went ahead and I primed my lids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Medium. I always prime my lids with concealer. It's the way that's worked for me the most since I do have really oily lids. I just prime with some concealer and my eyeshadow tends not to go absolutely anywhere throughout the day. So I'm going to go ahead and go into this bad boy right here and i really want to use her brush when i opened it i was like i'm gonna try the brush too the first thing i'm gonna go in with is sea breeze and i'm gonna put that all in the crease area blend that all in next i'm gonna go in with spray tan do the same thing I did with Sea Breeze and put that all in my crease area. I do know that I'm not going for an extremely bold look today since I am going to the dentist <laughs> after this. And then last, I'm going to go in with Palm Tree, which is the darkest shade in the palette. And I'm going to put that shade all in my crease. Work it in there. I'm gonna try to bring it up a little more. And I'm gonna put this all in my crease and just keep blending it in. So I just got back from the dentist. I had to interrupt um, my filming. I'm so glad I'm on the eye portion because as of right now, my lip is like really numb and <laughs> I look extremely retarded so. So now that I have that all in my crease, I'm gonna go in with Cell Away and put that all on my lid. I'm gonna try and do it first without any, without any Fix Plus on it or anything, which I'm not getting much color payoff that way. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm using the Morphe 120, M124. And after I spray that, I'm going to go again. Okay, that's a big difference.
Okay, so once I get done doing that, I'm gonna go in with the brush, with the Kylie Cosmetics brush, the one that came in the palette, and I'm going to blend it all together. The last thing I'm gonna do is go in with an angled brush, a Sonia angled brush, and it's the number 108. And I'm gonna put that on my lash line. just to give it a little bit more definition. So this is what my eyes are looking like as of right now. I'm just gonna keep it simple for today. I really like the matte shades, but I do wish the shimmer shades had a little bit more pigmentation. Okay, so I went ahead and I did my foundation, my concealer, I set my face, I did all of that good stuff off camera, I didn't do it on camera. Um, I'll have tutorials on that in the future. Um, excuse my lip, it's still a little bit numb. It's, it's going away, but it's still a little bit numb. But yeah, I am going to be reviewing the rest of the products. So the next thing that I'm going to go in with is the Skinny Dip Duo, the Face Duo. And I'm going to go in with Sunkissed, which is this one right here. And see how that works out for me as far as bronzing up my face, which I honestly don't think it's going to do much of since it looks like it'd be pretty light to bronze up my face. But I'm still going to go in with that. I'm using a Morphe M105 brush. Use that. Hmm. It's not too bad. If it was a little darker, I feel like it'd work for me a little better. But other than that, it's not too bad. Let's see, I don't see too much of a difference to be honest okay so that was that I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of um, hula bronzer by benefit just to bronze up my face a little bit more see if you can pair I love the benefit hula bronzer if you compare Kylie's to the benefit one which yes I hit pan already if you compare those two you can see that the Hula Bronzer is a tad bit darker than Sunkissed. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Hula Bronzer to finish bronzing up my face. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of blush. I'm gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill face palette. Put a little bit. A blush on my cheeks. My crooked little smile. It's not back all the way, but it's getting there. Okay. So now that I'm done with that, I would do my highlighter next since it's like the last step to my face. But I'm going to finish up my eyes first and then I will go into highlighter because why not save the best for last, right? So I'm going to take a pencil brush. Looks like this. It's the Morphe M431 brush. I love this brush for underneath my eyes. I used it the other day and I absolutely loved it. Let me zoom you guys in. So to finish up my under eye, I'm gonna go in with two of the shades that I used in my crease. I'm gonna go in first with spray tan and then with palm tree. Let me go in with spray tan first. Just put that in there. All in my lash line and underneath. Then I'm gonna go in with palm tree. 
and basically do the same thing I did with spray tan. I'm gonna concentrate this color though more like towards the outer part and directly in my lash line. So this is what my eyes are looking as of now. Next I'm gonna go in with some nude liner by MAC in my waterline. Okay, lastly, I'm going to go in with some mascara. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Better Than Sex mascara by Benefit. The regular one, not the waterproof one, since we can't, you can't use the waterproof mascara on your lashes when you have extensions on because if you put waterproof mascara on your lashes when you have extensions on you have to use some kind of oil to remove it and if you use oil on your eyelash extensions um, they don't last as long and I want them to last so. Okay so I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera real quick and I'll be right back. Okay so my brows are done. Now to finish up my eyes I cannot leave the house unless I do some inner corner highlight and some brow bone highlight. That is key. That is, it's a must. So to finish off my eyes, I'm gonna go in with, is it Santorini? Yes. The loose highlighting powder. So I took off the full plastic, I'm gonna shake it up have some out of there. I'm gonna go in with a little brush, nothing too specific. Matter of fact, nothing specific because this brush has no name on it whatsoever. Um, matter of fact, I think this is the brush that comes in with the Maybelline gel liner. I use it for my inner corner, but anyways. I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay. A little bit more will oh, not hurt. Oh, Dios mío. Y'all see that? Oh my gosh. And I like bringing my inner corner highlight all the way down here. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, Jesus. I cannot deal. Making sure that inner corner highlight is popping. Now onto the brow bone. Put a little bit on there, just, just a tad bit. Okay, so that is my finished eye look. Now for the highlight, my favorite part. Like this whole thing is just gonna be popping, you know? So I think I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna go in with the same thing that I have in my inner corner and my brow bone with Santorini. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M501 brush, which, by the way, this brush, 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 this brush is bomb for highlighting. Just to let you know. Don't wanna pick up too much because this thing is pretty. Very bright, okay. So let's see how this works out. <gasps> oh my god. Y'all have no idea how this feels. Oh my god, I think I'm about to start crying. No joke. Oh my god, this is bright. <gasps> okay. Can I can I continue? Okay. Oh my god, this is this holy Okay, hold up. Pause. Hold up. Oh my god. I can't. Hold up. Dust that off because And that it. Oh 
my god kylie god bless you girl because this oh. i also like bringing my highlight All the way to my cheekbones. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure y'all can see this from wherever y'all live. I... This is bright. This. Y'all, and it looks, I promise y'all, it looks brighter in person than it does. Bless my soul. Hold up. Let me hit this nose too. Just, just one time. Just a little bit you know what I'm saying and just hit that oh boy just hit that one time we're just gonna sit here for a little minute okay anyways so now for the lips the lips I've been dying to try my little cricket lips it's, it's feel it feels better now it feels better I can actually smile without looking as retarded you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying okay so to finish off this look i'm going to do my lips and i think i'm gonna use naked the nudist one from the velvet set Ooh. oh this smells good this is pretty nude doesn't look as nude in the Oh my god, this is so funny because I can't feel my lip. It's like I'm putting on lipstick that I can't feel it like, at all. I cannot get over how good this smells. Like this smells so good. So good. Okay, so I wanted to do that really, really nude because I wanted to go over it with one of the shimmer glosses, which I cannot wait to try. Where's my glosses? They were right in my face. So I think I'm gonna go in with Glitz. Oh my gosh, Jesus. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is it for the review. This is what I came up with. A really simple eye look with a nude lip and a little bit of that glitter gloss on top of it. I absolutely love this look, I really do. Um, overall, my comments on the collection, I love everything. I loved the glitter glosses, I loved the lip, the velvet liquid lipsticks. But before I finish, I want to swatch at least one of the matte liquid lipsticks. I think I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, which is Bare. Oh, same smell. It smells so good. I'm going to do a little swatch right here. It feels really velvety too. But I can already tell how it's drying off. But yeah, my overall comments on this collection, I I love it, really. Um, the eyeshadow palette, however, um, I wish the shimmer shades were a little bit more pigmented. The mattes, I love. I really do. I love the mattes. But the shimmer shades, I wish they had a little bit more color payoff than what they do. You do have to wet the brush in order to get that pop that you're looking for. But other than that, the matte shades, they're all really great. The glitter glosses, I love. I am here for them. I love them both. The matte liquid lipsticks, which I also thought were really good. Um, and then the velvet, I put it on underneath this. I also really liked it. Now $250, that is pretty expensive, that is pretty pricey. Do I think it's worth $250? I got it. I loved it. I'm not mad at it. If I had to choose one thing from the entire collection that I died for, y'all saw that I died for it. I cried for it. Oh my god, I really did tear up. <sighs> this highlight. 
this highlight. I love you for this, Kylie, because this is just bomb. I loved everything. I really did. I wish the, the bronzer was a little bit more darker. But yeah, that is it for this first impression. This is the first time I ever try Kylie Cosmetics. I've heard good reviews on her. I've heard bad reviews. Um, but just like anybody else, Kylie's entitled to grow. Kylie's entitled to get better. But this being my first time trying Kylie Cosmetics, I loved it. I really do. So will I purchase her stuff in the future? Of course I will. I've been dying to try her glosses, her other glosses too. So I will be purchasing some of her glosses. But I really love this collection. I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches, me creating this little look. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will have my social media link down below for you guys. So keep up with me, follow me on that. Don't forget to comment down below what you think, any video requests, anything you guys want me to do, comment down below. I will do it. I will be more than happy to do it. Um, finally, I can smile. But yes, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. First, uh, okay, if they open, you know, oh, oh, I just want a good, oh, I just want a good. Can somebody come snap the picture?